This animation describes how to protect your grain during storage. This process will protect your grain from spoilage and aflatoxin damage. Aflatoxins are poisons produced by certain molds found in food that can cause liver damage and cancer. They are found in foods such as cassava, corn, chili peppers, millet, peanuts, rice, sorghum, wheat, and others that are not properly stored. This will help increase the quality of your grain, which will increase your profits for the sale of the grain. This process is called DICE. D-I-C-E stands for Dry Grain, Inspect, Clean, and Examine. Let's look at how each step of this process protects your grain. The first letter, D, stands for Dry Your Grain. You must dry your grain before putting it in a storage bag. You can use a moisture meter to measure the moisture level of your grain. The acceptable moisture level for most grains is 12% or less. Certain grains, such as dry oil seeds or soybeans, require a 10% or less moisture level. Once your grain is dry enough, it is time to select a bag to store it in. When selecting a bag, check it to ensure there are no holes or tears. Place the grain in the bag and seal it tightly to prevent any insects from entering the bag during storage. The second letter, I, stands for inspect. You need to inspect the building where your grain will be stored to protect your grain. Look for holes in the building, near doors, around windows and window screens. Rodents and insects can enter the building through holes and cause damage to your grain. Seal any holes you find. Check the building for water damage. Look for water leaks as excess moisture in the building can cause damage to your grain. Store your bagged grain off the floor. If possible, place your bags of grain on wooden pallets to prevent them from touching the floor. This can also help if your building floods. The third letter, C, stands for clean. To protect your grain, you need to keep the storage environment clean. Keep the inside of the grain storage building free of clutter, dirt, loose grain, and overgrown weeds. Check frequently for damaged bags or grain spills and clean the area immediately. It is also important to keep the outside of the building free of clutter and weed growth. This will prevent insects and rodents from living in the area. Do not store the following in the building where your grain is stored. Insecticide containers, cleaning equipment, clothing, or infested grain. Taking these extra steps will help keep your grain safe for food consumption. The fourth letter, E, stands for examine your grain. Careful examination of your grain on a regular basis will help eliminate small problems before they become bigger problems. Check your grain for mold or excess moisture. Look for holes or tears in your grain bags and frequently check for insect infestations. If you discover insects in a stored grain bag, it may be necessary to fumigate the bag depending on the level of infestation that you have, or place the grain in a hermetic bag such as a Pix bag or a Zero Fly hermetic bag. Immediately relocate the infested bag away from clean grain bags to prevent further infestations. Check other nearby grain bags to determine if the infestation has spread. A regular and thorough examination of your grain can help reduce aflatoxin and mold problems and ensure the successful sale of your grain. If you follow the DICE process, dry your grain, inspect, clean, and examine, you'll prevent damage to your grain and increase its quality. This process will help ensure you waste as little grain as possible, which will maximize your profits when you sell and give you more grain to take home for your family.